Kevin Smith is easily the most annoying fake nerd that Hollywood keeps trying to shove down our throats. Seeing him burst into tears over a below average movie has become more annoying than the actual movies themselves. This is a man who enjoyed that horrifying use of CGI to piss all over Christopher Reeve's Superman. It's one thing to be a fake nerd with terrible opinions, but with his Masters of the Universe show, he crossed over into becoming just another weirdo obsessed with identity politics who's willing to destroy a franchise by pushing his beliefs onto an uninterested audience. An audience that has every right to not give Revolution a chance, even if it seemingly fixes some of the problems that Revelation had. But hey, hope your weird identity politics were worth losing your credibility and the trust of the fans, Kevin. That is so deeply pathetic. Fans of this franchise have been taking non-stop hits ever since Crybaby Kevin came on board. This moron comes in and sidelines the character whose name is literally in the original show's title in order to push another generic strong female character. That would be like, I don't know, creating a Spider-Man story where the end goal is to replace Peter Parker. <laughs> It's more than fair to say things don't look good if your favorite show, movie, or game revolves around a badass, straight white male character. Kevin and all the people at Netflix involved with this train wreck have been lying and attacking fans for years, so it's nothing new at this point to hear more BS from them. Apparently in his mind, Tila was as much a part of the story as she's always been. Which is interesting because he then follows that up by saying he thought it would be a cool aspect of storytelling to remove the center of our universe, meaning He-Man. <laughs> you serious? If you remove the main character, then by definition someone else gets that screen time and is elevated to the status of being the main character. In this case, that was Tila, so saying she played the same part she always had in the story is a lie, or it's proof that he has some mental deficiency that doesn't allow him to understand basic logic. Either way, I love when these idiots go out of their way to help make our points for us and expose the flaws in their own BS logic. Idiots doing idiot things because they're idiots. The simple fact is the fans are never the ones who are wrong or need to grow up, because they're the ones whose money you want. They're the ones you need to buy your shitty nonsense, so if you want to make money, you need to be in the business of giving them what they actually want, not what you think they should want based on your own beliefs. That takes a certain level of maturity though, and the issue with these people is that's just not what they care about doing, because in the end, it's all about their egos and doing what they want. This is all about me! Me, me, me! Kevin tries to make some point about how he wasn't given the franchise with the goal of ruining it, but that's a not so clever misdirection because that's exactly what happened. Of course they didn't explicitly say break this franchise, but what they did say was that you need to sideline the main character in order to prop up a strong female character. In essence, they told you to rewrite the formula that made people fans in the first place just to push their weird beliefs onto the audience, thereby breaking the franchise that people once knew and loved. Not sure how you define ruining a franchise, Kevin, but when pretty much all the fans tell you they hate your show, that's usually a sign you're on the wrong track. The only power I have is that I believe we can do better. It doesn't matter if he's ever said whether that stuff was his idea or not. When you look at Netflix's track record, it's hard to believe they had nothing to do with the decision, especially considering they basically told him to ignore all the criticism this show was getting from fans because as usual, it didn't matter to them whether fans liked it or not since it wasn't created for fans. These days, major story decisions usually get made by people higher up on the ladder using specific focus groups and handed down to creatives, so it doesn't matter what they say in public, we've seen this shit play out way too many times already to not know what's really happening. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Saying that He-Man was always going to come back and that people should have expected that just shows how writing has gone to absolute shit nowadays. Believe it or not Kev, but when most people see a character die, they get this crazy idea they'll never see them again. Saying that people should have expected a dead character to come back tells your audience that the stakes on your show are non-existent and that they should never take a character's death seriously because of course they'll just be back. 
The more I hear from this guy, the more I lean towards him having some kind of mental issues, understanding logic. Because faking the death of your main character so that a strong girl boss can take his place is the opposite of honoring the lore, Kevin. Sounds like this guy. Fuck a moron. The fact is, it would be extremely naive to think the story they originally intended for Revolution is the one that we got. All of a sudden, in a complete 180 from the all men are bad, strong female character, borderline lesbian arcs in Revelation, Tila and Adam just can't stop flirting with each other, and He-Man gets to actually save the day, they clearly went in and changed things because they realized just how rightfully pissed off people got. Had Revelation been a hit, you can bet your ass Revolution would have continued down the same BS identity politics path that they started on. I'm done. I'm done. There's something to be said for believability, and the fact is, I don't trust Kevin Smith at all after all the lies we've heard from him over the years. If I wasn't making a video about Revolution, then just like everyone else, I wouldn't have watched it because of how bad Revelation was. Revolution is a decent show relative to the trash that was Revelation. On its own though, it's below average at best. They're not entitled to, nor do they deserve fans giving them a second chance after what they had to endure the first time around. You can't just make the first season of a show be a slap in the face to every fan of the franchise, then just expect them to keep watching. Pretty sure every fan had the same reaction after sitting through the nightmare that was Revelation. You don't get two chances at a first impression, and Revelation was a massive turnoff for fans who deserved better than the garbage Kevin Smith gave them. 